In 2 Chronicles 10, we read about um, King Rehoboam and how Rehoboam successfully manages to split the kingdom of Israel. And it happens, I believe, because he is spectacularly tone deaf and has completely misread the feelings and the emotions of the people of Israel. So the story goes that Rehoboam goes up to Shechem to be anointed as king. And while he's there, members of the northern tribe tribes come to him and say, look, your dad made life really difficult for us. If you make life a little bit easier, we will serve you as your loyal subjects forever. And Rehoboam gets two bits of advice from the older advisors. They say, make the lives easier. And for the younger advisors, he says, um, the, the advice that he gets is make their lives harder. And he decides why, but I have no idea why, but he decides to make their lives harder. And at that point in time, there's a rebellion and the kingdom of Israel is split in two into the northern kingdom and to the tribes of Benjamin and Judah. And as I say, for me, it's a spectacular example of not reading the room, of not hearing what people are saying. And that is really quite profound because it speaks to us about how we treat people and whether or not we actually listen to people. Now, someone asked me recently, what the difference between hearing and listening was. And hearing is quite passive. It just kind of happens around us. We hear sounds, we hear noise. It's kind of our standby system. Whereas when we're listening, we are active. It's an active process. It involves our ears and our eyes and our hearts. And we need to be listening to people. We need to be reading their emotions, we need to be seeing their body language. All of these things are important. Because what it does is it shows people that they have been heard. And everybody needs to be heard. When we hear people, as Jesus did, and Jesus was very good at hearing people, whether it was the woman caught in adultery, or whether it was Jairus, or whether it was the woman who had the bleeding healed, Jesus is very good at making people know they had been hurt. And we need to be more like Jesus because it shows that we value people. We shows that we value their, their thoughts. We value them as people. And that is one of the greatest gifts that we can give to people, to show them that we have value. Let's listen to people today, shall we? Let's make sure that people are heard. Amen.